It is officially the weekend. I'm just the absolute worst at dovetailing. One of these days I'll get it. You know what they say, they say, in order to really perfect something you need to do it at least 10,000 times, then you'll be considered a master at it. I think that's probably like my 12th dovetail, so I have a long way to go. I shouldn't be too hard on myself, but uh, it is always frustrating when you put a lot of time into something and it doesn't come out the way you want. Now. Speaking of something I am a master at, that is mastering. I've definitely done way more than 10,000 masters in my life. And mixing as well. I don't think I've done 10,000 mixes, but you know, all in the same game, I'm so much better at making music than I am at making wood stuff. Uh, and I want to attribute that to a particular book that I'm super fond of and I cannot recommend any book higher than this one. Mixing Secrets for the Small Studio by Mike Senior. If you're gonna get one book about audio because you're out of money or something, or if you're just like overwhelmed by the selection, really honestly, truly, this is your book. Look at this, look at this. Ready? Every single page has notes, highlights. This thing I've read through about 18 times and I've read a whole bunch of audiobooks. You want to see how many audiobooks I've read? Check this out. Look at those. Look at that. There's some over there too. And... Well, that's a cooking book, but back there too. All these books are all about audio. But there's only one of them that I keep coming back to. That is Mixing Secrets for the Small Studio. It really is the best book you can get. It has the most information possible. I cannot recommend it higher. Some things you'll go over. Part one, hearing and listening. Using your speakers, using near field, mid field, and far field monitors. Figuring out what speakers are better than others. He gives you buying recommendations. He gives you, you know, if, if you don't want to buy this particular brand, buy this type of speaker. The best. Part two is mix preparation. Basically how to set up your project, editing, arranging, that kind of stuff. Step three is balance, and I've talked about this before. Mixing really shouldn't be called mixing, it should be called balancing. That's what all this is about right there, part three. You know, that's that's a little bit of compression, equalization, all the basics. Part four is sweetening to taste, that's where he talks about reverbs and stuff. And, um, oh yeah, and automation, and bus compression, that kind of stuff. That's it, four parts. What you should be listening on, how to set up a mix, how to mix, and how to make your own tone. Book is amazing. Get a copy if you know what's good for you. And coffee. I'm good at making coffee.